an easy way to earn every day. Well, today I'm super excited to be talking about this next project called Go Mining. But before we do that, make sure to do your own research, figure out this project is for you. So this project makes mining accessible for everyone. So no need to buy and set up hardware. You don't have to worry about like equipment maintenance. There's no like risks or headaches. You could do everything online. So if you ever thought about getting to mining, which tons and tons of people are making a lot from, uh, then definitely uh, check out this video. Uh, I'll show you guys my account, kind of poke around, see the different options. Uh, I'll put all links in the description, kind of talk about how you guys can get started. Uh, but let's go, go mining. Here we're on website at gmt.io. I'll put the link in the description as it checks out for yourself. Um, like I said, we're gonna talk uh, what this project's about. I'm actually logging to my account, so I'll show you guys um, how that all looks like. Um, but again, if you guys have ever uh, even considered uh, doing some mining, uh, definitely uh, watch this video to kind of learn about how this project makes mining simple and literally anyone can make uh, money. And I think it's really good, especially in the market we're on now where things are like up and down, uh, we can really take advantage um, of different ways to earn uh, just instead of like, you know, just waiting for and buying into a new project uh, every day. So it says, buy digital miners backed by the real power of our data centers and receive rewards every day. Think about how cool it is to, to check to see if you get rewards every day. Upgrade your mining farm, complete simple daily tasks. And we'll talk a little bit about that. They have a cool way that they incorporate NFTs into that uh, and get involved in the game to increase your profits. So uh, we'll talk about this, talk about how you guys can get started as well. Uh, again, they make mining accessible to everyone. I kind of talked about that at the beginning of the video. You don't have to worry about hardware. You don't need a crazy video card. Um, you literally can just um, get started uh, right away. Uh, this is just talking a little bit about like, okay, hey, uh, we have a bunch of different data centers no matter which you are. Nine data centers in different countries. Seven years of blockchain development expertise. So this isn't a new project. They've been around a while. They're making sure that everything, um, you know, uh, is quality and that you guys can trust them. So if you guys want to learn more about that, you guys can. Um, so the, the, the reason the website is called like gmt.io, uh, they're, they're the Go Mining token. So if you guys are, are learning about that, um, you guys can. It means payment of when buying NFTs, makes possible by the NFT uh, maintenance, can be used to pay for game mechanics, uh, etc. Um, so if you ever see GMT, that's why it's Go Mining uh, token. Uh, and I think it's really good if you want to learn uh, about that. It's their native crypto. Uh, it facilitates transaction with ecosystem. The tokens can be used to purchase NFTs, pay for energy maintenance at discounted rates, and participate in platform-specific activities. Um, so definitely interesting. There's also this burn and mint model, which we'll get into. Um, but I do think that, uh, like I said, they put a lot of time and effort into this and how this works. Um, so it says, our product, NFT by Go Mining. So. Uh, is backed by real fleet devices and mine BTC. Has a large ROI than any real miners. Gives the opportunity to play a game and earn more. Yeah, I definitely think it's going to be interesting. Obviously, Bitcoin is on the rise, so definitely uh, I think it's a good opportunity. Cheapest uh, and easiest way to start mining. Yeah, like I said, the traditional way of doing it is buying a bunch of computers, buying a, a really top-end video card. Obviously, there's a lot of overhead for that, uh, but being able to jump into this uh, I think is really uh, interesting. Um, so again, so they have this burnt and mint model. So every NFT is backed by the power of a real mine device. So there is a real mine device. Mining Bitcoin contains electricity. The cost for electricity are automatically deducted from Bitcoin mine through NFTs. They offer additional 10% discount on electricity when paid with gold mining tokens. So uh, they have this whole entire system, obviously uh, using GMT is kind of like the, the core of everything that they're doing. GMT token uh, to call everything doing is really good. Um, so. Here's the distribution in case you guys want to know. 65% to service provider that issued the NFT, 20% to go mine token holders that have locked their tokens into VE Go Mining. So this is what they said, uh, smart contract. So lock your Go Mine tokens to get V Go Mining. So they have this um, whole entire uh, system, uh, their V tokenomics. So get regular governance rewards every burn and min cycle, vote for reward distribution um, if you guys are interested. So again, 65%. The service provided that's issued the NFT, 20% to the gold mining token holders that locked in the V gold mining, and 10% goes to gold mining rewards. Um, so multipliers, the NFT game, additional discounts for NFTs who choose solo mining, uh, and then 5% goes to the gold mining 
uh, team. So let's check out uh, these NFTs uh, and kind of talk a little bit about them. How I can mine Bitcoin's NFT, what's the difference between the miners, uh, and then we could obviously go to the marketplace uh, as well. But you could kind of scroll through here uh, and kind of check it out um, if you guys are interested. Um, so here is the, the app uh, which um, I am logged into uh, and we'll kind of jump into the, to all these different things. But you could check out the different miners. Again, they are um, NFTs. Uh, so you can kind of learn uh, about each one of them. Uh, you could click into it. Uh, so this is the North collection. Obviously, I, I do like the Im imagery on each one of them. Um, it says it shows their computing power, which is important, their energy efficiency. Um, kind of like the ROI, and they have this cool calculator depending on uh, how how uh, long uh, the, the period is. Um, so you could kind of see how this changes uh, the bottom, the anticipate ROI, the NFT reward, uh, the historical ROI. Uh, but kind of go through all these details of it. And again, if you guys want to check out like the NFT uh, tributes of it, you could check it down here. So uh, kind of a cool concept where not only uh, you get a, a cool looking NFT, but it's actually used to mine each has a different commuting power so like this for example um, has that 128 but this one over here has 768 so this is the gold box collection obviously the nft itself uh, is represented by something that's uh, more elaborate uh, and this has a you know like but four or five x more computing power uh, than the previous one we looked at and then obviously the roi that you could expect uh, goes up with that so it's really up to you how you guys uh, want to um, you know um, how you want to participate uh, in this uh, I'll talk about how I got into it um, and kind of show off that portion uh, and then you could actually see how much this changes from USD to gold mining um, and as it reminds you uh, you get a 10% discount uh, on maintenance so again different uh, benefits uh, depending on what you want to do but again definitely check out the marketplace etc um, they said there's been 61,000 NFT sales they teach you guys how to buy um, but again, a really cool kind of uh, elaborate uh, system if you guys want to uh, check it out. Here's traditional mining by uh, versus uh, NFTs by gold mining. I'm not going to go through all this, but start in several months, traditional mining, yeah, like the uphead you got to set up, sense of support, increase capacity, NFT by gold mining start in one day. The gold mine team takes over the job, right? They're the ones uh, that are actually uh, in the back end doing all the magic. Uh, enables our giant miners. <clears throat> Go mining token enables use of our data centers mining hardware. Uh, if you guys want to buy NFT, Bitcoin mining, Bitcoin mines BTC, it's physical mining equipment. Uh, BTC distribution, NFT holders receive daily mining rewards, which I kind of talked about that breakdown. Pay we go mining, you get 10% discount. Token burning, token minting, and then token distribution, and it kind of goes in a circle. Here's the roadmap. Again, lots of different things um, coming up. This is 2024. Launch an airdrop, new format for digital miners, uh, new support new blockchains, listing on top exchanges, Q2, uh, launch a 15 MW in the North Africa region, launch a phone mining pool, uh, and then increase project hash rate in Q3 to 10 million, list on top exchanges, Q4, entry at least three investment funds from top 10 on board. As you can see, they're doing a lot from all different sides, uh, business expansion, upgrading, uh, their hardware, upgrading the, the opportunities for you guys, the NFTs, uh, getting more opportunities. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, but let's jump into my account. Enough talking about this. There's a ton I could keep talking about this, uh, kind of take a deep dive into it. But you guys kind of get the idea. You buy an NFT to represent how you're going to mine. Each is different in its own way. Um, but how does that all come together? Um, so once you log into your account, obviously they give you some uh, like AMA session that you guys know that they're trying to, to help out. Um, you can follow the community. Uh, this is my miner. Uh, obviously, we looked at ones that were uh, really uh, crazy looking, but I um, uh, I definitely wanted to show you one that um, you know uh, that uh, is that I got that uh, was at a reasonable price. Like I said, depending on your price point that you get, you could literally um, get into it uh, from different points. Um, so here is the mine box. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. Obviously not as um, crazy looking uh, as uh, the ones that we looked at before. But again, I think it's good that there is different levels um, for different people. Um, 
uh, you could one thing that's cool. You could actually upgrade. There's a button that says you could upgrade your miner, and then there's different ways to do it. They tell you the the cost of it, and I think that's pretty cool. They give you the options um, depending on how much you want to invest, kind of how that increases the power and efficiency. Um, so again, if you ever want to just get in at a specific level, you always get the opportunity to move up further. And then here's the specifications. Nothing crazy. Nothing super rare. Um, but again, I think it's pretty cool. So computing power, um, 16, energy efficiency, uh, 35. And again, that could be upgraded as well. They give you guys uh, lots of opportunity to do that. And then if I ever wanted to get like condition one, like I said, over here, uh, this is the miners that I have. I have one miner, but you could have multiple miners if you want to, which I think is uh, a good strategy. You could always just uh, create a mire, miner. It's a mine, uh, miner creation. You could pick like what level you want, what the computing power is, energy efficiency is 35. Um, you could see uh, not only the computing power, but also like what this is expected to pay um, uh, monthly uh, or daily. Uh, and then of course like the NFT reward and then of course like the minor traits etc um, you could kind of see uh, what is the different chance because you never know what it's going to be but there's a specific different chance depending on it um, like I said some of the top ones we looked at like those gold ones etc have a uh, relatively low chance but that's what makes them rare just like seems like any NFT out there um, but it's pretty cool really easy to use like I said depending on your level of involvement you could literally uh, be a miner uh, in, in, a, in a day just by going through these uh, easy steps. And I think it's pretty cool how um, not only you have a cool NFT that you can look at, but there's different things that you could utilize, uh, etc. Uh, and I think it's actually fun to actually go in here and kind of see like, okay, um, based off my miner, how much rewards have I got in? I haven't had this for a long time, but I've already gotten some rewards. It's not much, but again, it's something that I'm getting every single day uh, and I don't have to worry about like, oh, what's a new project that I've invested into? It's really just like, okay, um, uh, you know, I started this. I could keep checking on it every week, every month, uh, every year. And then uh, you can kind of break this out how this all works um, and kind of check it out. Uh, I think it's pretty awesome. And I think it's pretty, when you share your uh, referral link, it has a little image of your NFT. Um, and I think that's uh, cool. And then the marketplace as well, you can also check that out. So again, if this is something that's interesting to you, um, lots to do on here, lots of opportunity for you guys to uh, be a part of this. Again, if you've considered mining even at all, or just interested in it, definitely check this project out. Uh, I'll put the link in the description, but that's Go Mining. Thanks everyone for watching. Catch you guys next time.